I am not a fool. I know words for what of my husband's will. How dare you? How, how dare you? you? You slapped me? How much did he pay you to ruin the lives of his younger ones? I'm asking you. <sighs> it's a lie. That is not the will. He did something. Mark did something. So, Mark is trying to take everything that is rightfully yours and that of your sister and mama included. I will accept that. Never. And I will make sure that that lawyer, this will be the last will he will read in his entire career. I will make sure of that. I mean, as Mark got into this level, I never ex expected this from him at all. I mean, if he wanted to fight, he should have fought fairly. You are married to an evil woman like that. Take only the grace of God for your hands to remain clean and for your sanity to be intact. Then when you're now a weakling like my brother Mark, you will dance to her every time, including the tune of madness. Babe, we're losing Mark. No. Mark has lost us. I could say same for you. That nonsense downstairs just now, you think you've won. But just know that all of this are wasted efforts. Wasted. The will has spoken. <laughs> Indeed. But let the family speak to. You think you're winning, right? <laughs> all this nonsense, this lies, eh? it will only last for a short time. But the truth will always prevail. Let me see how the truth will prevail in this situation. I am Vivian. I change the truth. And whatever I want, I get. Fair enough. I know one thing for sure. God is not from your village. And he's going to keep you so busy that the affairs of this family will be the least of your problems. Even God cannot harm me. Ask about me. There is so much more to this girl than you can think or imagine. Do not be deceived. Do not challenge God because you will have yourself to blame. At this point, I just need to table your matter before God and let him handle the rest. I was expecting a fight as usual. But I see that you have lost all your dreams. That's the only reason you came to this house in the first place. To fight me. But now you are powerless. You are tired already. <laughs> Vivian, there are more than one way to kill a rat. There are different ways to fight. Aside being physical. I think it's time for me to table your matter before the one whom you have commonized. Who is that person? God Almighty. Can you at least sit down? I am not sitting down. I have enough seat in my office to sit down, young man. Okay. I'm not supposed to be here today, so why did you call me out? It's because you're lying. It's about to take my business and my career away from me. What the hell are you talking about, sir? Your mother knows the truth. She discovered the truth. She knows the truth. And she promised to destroy my career. Did you tell her the truth? No. I denied it. But she insisted. She told me she has a copy of that will. And she knows the will word for word. As a matter of fact, she accused me that I took bread from you. Huh? And she, she swore to deal with me. Oh my eyes. She's just bluffing. She, she doesn't have a heart for that. Don't be scared. Bluffing? You call that bluffing? Listen. A mother can do anything, especially when their children are touched. The look I saw in your mother's eyes today is very dreadful. Honestly, 
I doubt if she will back down. She promised to do everything to drag me down as a professional lawyer, and I am not joking. So, what do you want me to do? What? Are you for real? Uh, you don't know what to do. So you, you want to use your grief to drag my, my profession down? Just a few million? Hey, protect your career now. Meaning? What is meaning? Are you not benefiting from it? I mean, I have my own battles that I'm fighting. When I'm fighting my battles, did I ask you to come and fight for me or did I ask for your help? So why do you need me? Mark, so this is all you are. Who the hell do you think you are? Eh? I'm asking you. Who the hell do you think you are? You think I will go down alone? You think your greed will pull me down and destroy my career that I've built for many years? I will not do that. I will make sure that I drag you down with me. I will not be the only one that will go down. If you don't do something, listen, if you know what is good for you, make sure I don't go down. Otherwise, you will not have a place to stand. Even your feet will not carry you. Are you threatening me? Does that sound like a threat? I don't make threats, so. I make promises. Look at my eyes. I make promises. And when I make promises with my determination and anger, I stand by it and I make sure that I fulfill it. You better do the needful or you will regret it. Rubbish. For the first time, Mark acted like a man in my defense. Today he's doing my bidding. <laughs> he will throw them out of the house and I reign. Congratulations, my darling. Thank you. <laughs> but you need to know this. Don't relent or celebrate too soon before all is done and completed. Mark is like a dog. And dogs follow the bones. Always ensure that you are the one with the bone. Or else, he will turn around and betray you when you least expect. I know, mommy. For now, I will have him do so many bad things that it will be very impossible for him to go back. <laughs> he needs balls. I will give it to him. And then I will hold him. You are my daughter, in whom I am well pleased. You gladden my heart. <laughs> Mommy, I learned from the best. <laughs> it's so sad. I wish Daddy can be like you. Oh, your father can never be like me. That's why he's still at the level he is politically. Honestly, I regret marrying him, but he was the best option at the time. <laughs> well, if you hadn't married him, then I would not be your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. At least... Something good came out of the union. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, mommy. Mm. Success.
just the man I've been waiting for. What is it? I just wanted to look at the face of a liar. The face of a man who threw caution to the wind and went against his own family values, norms and upbringing. You lied today, Mark. I believe you're happy. Um, Helen, I know the truth hurts. I know it hurts, but there's nothing I can do. And just know that I'm tired of sharing this house with you, and I can't do it no more. Oh. Yes. <laughs> if you think that the lies you, you concocted with the lawyer will get us out of this house, then you're a coward and a clown. No matter what you do, we will make sure you fail at it. Yeah, we'll prove you wrong and get what is ours. And that will be the end of you. I'm sorry, Mark, but you and I share nothing now. Who even wants to share anything with you? We share this house now, yes. But it's not going to last. And by the way, Helen, don't you think it's time for you to get a life? Because it's obvious you don't have one. What? You are jealous of Vivian. You've always wanted to be like Vivian, but you can never ever be like how you want the life she has but you can never ever have it no wonder due to your toxicity and your desire to be in charge your husband chose death over being with you how dare you fine you've said all you've said and I heard you thank you Mark Thank you. 